cost of transportation and the cost of waiting, which is most of the time is a hidden cost. Nobody really puts a value on it. The fact that you have the shop waiting for a part to come in mm -hmm. and you have the customer waiting for you to deliver, these all will add to the overall cost of ownership of you know any orders that are basically coming in and going out. So uh, we learned uh, by experience that developing a local supply chain will uh, enable us to have a more customized and more tailored solution in a faster and more uh, basically economic uh, way to our customers. So I think, you know, as Luke mentioned, customization is kind of like the next new and big thing around the globe. Uh, the traditional just sourcing from, you know, very, very cheaper is not, you know, the thing these days, we need to just like be creative, find out what's best for uh, our companies and what we are doing. And I think with that, will reduce the cost, will make us more competitive with, and compared to, you know, our uh, other competitors in the market. And then, you know, that gives us a greater uh, export power. And not to, uh, you know, mention that, you know, having it made in USA is really a big value add to any products that's going out. So you always have that as, you know, an ultimate value add to the products that we're building here in the country. But what we're seeing, when we go to, for example, uh, countries outside of uh, the United States, if you have a European competitor, having the made in USA on our product will make us more competitive. Like, you know, people like the product coming out of USA because of the USA, because of the reliability, because of the quality. And I think we all need to, it's because we all live here, we think that it's given, but for people outside of this country, it's not given. So they really value that, and we need to, as manufacturers, we need to emphasize on that fact.